Hi, my name is Jamie Moreno, Regional Sales Manager for Jayco Motorized Division. I'm here at North Trail. I'm going to be walking through one of the products that they represent for me. This is going to be the Model Year 21 Jayco Greyhawk. This particular floor plan is going to be the 30X. It's going to offer a lot of different value. We're going to walk through some of these items. These are items you can walk around, touch, feel, and see. A couple of things that are going to be unique for the Jayco family is we're going to build on the E450. That's the Ford E450. This is what we consider the hidden value. So we're not going to be on the E350. We're going to start at the E450. You're also going to have a front overhead cap that's going to be solid fiberglass. If you step back, you can see there, except for this window, there's no seams along this front cap at all, preventing any type of mold, mildew, or mushrooms penetrating this cap inside your bed area. So you'll see that there's no seams all along the front or side. We're going to have what's called a transition wing over the front seam and a solid fiberglass cap over that front construction as well. Coming along to the side of the motorhome, this is going to be a gel coat fiberglass, not your standard phylon fiberglass that most manufacturers use. We want to make sure you're going to have nice longevity out of your the exterior of your motorhome. You're also going to have frameless windows. Frameless windows are excellent because they have the blacked out edge. They're nice and tinted. They look very nice. Plus, the added benefit of it's going to prevent the UV rays from damaging the seals along here. Once your seals get damaged, you're no longer able to keep out the moisture or keep that ambient temperature on the inside. You'll also see we have the only two plus three year warranty in the industry. Everything we build will have a two year warranty for the motorhome and a three year structural for the structural integrity of the motorhome as well. Coming around to the side, you'll see we have a J-Ride Plus. J-Ride Plus is exclusive to Jayco and there's gonna be a few components for the Greyhawk. They're gonna be installed on the areas you're gonna be feeling when you're driving down the motorhome. This is to enhance the riding and handling of a motorhome. So you're going to have some five items added. You're gonna have a additional heavy duty stabilizer bar added to the rear. You're going to have some Coney shocks all the way around added. You're going to have a computerized balanced drive shaft and you're also going to have a, the Helwig helper springs. Plus, these are items you can actually feel. This is going to help again from the motorhome going left and right and making you feel like you're in a sailboat as you're driving down the road. These items are going to help prevent that. Some more items out here on the outside, you're going to see that you have a nice large awning with an LED strip. This is going to be provided by Carefree, and you have these little tabs on the edge of your awning arms, you can adjust your angle or the pitch if you wanted it lower or higher or to one side. You just adjust those little tabs on either side of the arms and you can change that. Coming around to the back side, you are gonna have a nice ladder to get up to the top and do some inspecting of the roof. Briefly on the roof. On the roof, it's gonna be a solid fiberglass roof. You will not have any seams going down the front all the way to the back on each side. This is a true seamless overhead roof. The only thing you'll have up there is going to be a solar GoPro quick connect. So you can, after market, add a solar panel if you wanted to. It's already pre-wired. That pre-wiring is gonna go to your house batteries and to your chassis batteries. You're gonna have the rear camera plus an additional brake light. If you're towing a car or you're carrying bikes or whatever and they're covered up, sometimes they cover up your brake lights. We add the additional brake light to give you more safety. As far as towing capability, every Ford that we build on, it's gonna be able to tow 7,500 pounds 
and they have a true 750 pound tongue weight. Uh, the average is going to be 5,000 pound tow capacity and 500 pound tongue weight. Be very careful and check with that sticker that goes on here and you can verify exactly what we're talking about. 750 pound tongue weight or the 7,500 pound towing capacity. You'll have the LED lights all the way around instead of your incandescent. And then on our driver's side for this particular floor plan, it's going to see that we do not have on the side the slide mechanisms that are screwed into the side on the top and the bottom. Our slides are going to be underneath the motorhome, just like your high end motorhomes. This is on the bottom preventing any type of issues that you're going to have. It's going to be a nice 12 volt motor, plenty of power to bring it in and out. It's going to come also with a slide topper on top, so you're going to prevent any rain or leaves penetrating into or on top of this slide itself. On this side, this 30X full wall slide, you're going to have on this rear side your wet bay. This wet bay is going to come with an outside shower. You'll have a water pump option out here. You'll have your input hoses for your water. And you'll also have a black tank flush. You have a manifold that you can change how the fresh water is going to be coming in. Whether if you want it to go into your fixtures, or if you want it to go into your tanks, or if you want to do your own winterizing itself. So that's what the, the option for the water pump is out here. You also have a light to turn it on and be able to see what you need to do in the evening. Your holding tanks, this is where your gate valves are on this floor plan right here, very easy to get to as well. And some storage with these doors that are gonna open up and have a little hinge on the bottom so if you're having something to sit down, you can use that as a little table as well. This is a 30 amp motorhome, so you're gonna have a 30 amp electrical line plus your inlet for your cable if you're at a campground, you can bring it in on this side and a power outlet as well. You'll have an Onan 4000 watt generator on the outside. Again, a 30 amp motorhome and just some additional storage along the outside of the motorhome. For, you're also going to have nice chromed out mirrors with a camera on the lower side to be able to see your left or right side what I call your blind spots. If you want to make a lane change, you can see if anybody's beside you. You'll have on the Greyhawk some enhanced, instead of just a little aluminum step, you'll have some nice wide fiberglass flared steps as well. Now we're going to go into the inside of the motorhome. Talking about the inside of the motorhome, I'm going to start up here at the front cab area. So in the cab, you're going to have some nice matching front and passenger and driver seats. You're going to have power on both the front passenger and driver as well. You're going to have a nice large Sony radio. This is going to have your Bluetooth, AM, FM, XM rate capable and you'll have the ability to do your Android Auto or your Apple CarPlay from your phone once you plug it into this outlet on the right. As far as the cab, these are going to be your standard Ford F450 and Talking about the front cab, this front overhead bunk. One thing that's unique about this front overhead bunk is Jayco has the only 750 pound rated front bunk. It's not about being able to load this up with 750 pounds. It's being able to tell the story that the front of your house is built nice and sturdy. So 750 pound rated front bunk, you can easily access it turn this into a nice large sleeping area with your ladder. You hit, put it right in these little hinges and get in and out of the bunk itself. Have a nice TV over here on the side with a DVD player underneath. And then you also have your switch to turn on and off your lights for up top. Standing in the cab and you're looking towards the back, one thing that's unique for the Jayco Class C motorhome line is there is going to be no step up on the back side near the bathroom. It's going to be one continuous floor. 
We do that for a couple of reasons. One, it increases safety, and two, it causes structural integrity. So it's one piece instead of two separate pieces moving. This particular decor is gonna be the modern farmhouse. It gives you nice dark and light contrast, and the decor opens it up, makes you feel like you're in a large environment. For the dinette, you have a nice long, large table. Countertops are going to be molded all the way around with no cap on the edge. This is going to also be a Jayco exclusive dinette mechanism. You simply unhinge it, bring it down, and you can make, you bring in your cushions and make a bed. You lift it back up, let the spring bring it back up, and you just hook it on the end and you have the table back. The beautiful thing is there's no long shock strut or rails along the wall and no big long pole that's taking up floor space or banging your knees as you're moving in and out. You do have a USB and a power outlet underneath here as well. You're also gonna have some nice large theater seat ability with a console and cup holders as well. Easily bring it in. You can adjust the back end or adjust your feet. It's up to you. As you can see coming on back, nice large kitchen cable top area, 12 cubic foot fridge on this side and a Furion three burner stove with a residential microwave as well. Plenty of storage throughout and all of the drawers are going to have ball bearing slides with solid wood throughout. Inside this unit you're also going to have the ability to have a little coat rack and easily access some of your control panel. This will be for your generator, checking your levels for your tank, turning on and off your heating pads, and then down here if you want to get open and close your awning, turn your LED lights on and off, and also run your hydraulic leveling jacks down and up, all right here at the door. This particular floor plan is one nice large solid slide. It's going to have a split bathroom. You have the sink on the outside and your bath, your shower on the inside. If you need a little privacy, you can have that shower room all to yourself. Have a little vent fan up there as well. And you can also have the sink to yourself. Gives you plenty of room to store some of your makeup or hair products, etc. And then plenty of storage for, for you as well. Power outlet and an LED light as well. Coming back into the bedroom, You'll see that the decor is gonna have shiplap, real wood along the, the base of the bed, the headboard. You're gonna have night lights that you can you turn on and you'll have the nice subtle blue light. You hold it down for a couple of seconds, you have a nice bright white light as well. This is going to also come with an MCD nightshade to, get, to black it out nice and dark at night. Plenty of storage throughout, full closet space. You can either hang it up or stack items in there and storage along the bottom. You will have some limited storage along the bottom, but you can store away a few items if you need to. You're going to have power outlets on both, the, both sides of the bed if you needed to charge some items or you need something to sleep with as well. One great thing about this particular motorhome or this model line is there's two air conditioners. This is a 30 amp motorhome with two 11,000 BTU air conditioners. They're going to have independent thermostats. This thermostat is here for the bedroom and this thermostat over here is for the living room. So you can have one on and one off or have both on and you're going to have 22,000 BTUs running and it's because of this power management system. So we have a 30 amp motorhome running 22,000 BTUs. Any other Class C in the industry is gonna have at best 13.5. You're almost twice as much and conserving power as you're doing it. 
The other magnificent part is this is going to be auto control. It's going to know if you're overloading the circuit. If I decide I want to pop some popcorn, somebody's blow drying their hair and I want to run a toaster and I've got every piece of electric running, this is going to know, okay, I've got more than 30 amps. It's going to automatically start shutting off some items to shed power without tripping a breaker. It'll shut off, it'll switch your water heater to from, you know, from electric to gas. It'll switch your refrigerator from electric to gas. If it still needs more power, it'll shut off your rear compressor. And going even further, if it still needs more power, it'll shut off both your rear and front compressor of the AC. But guess what? You're not gonna lose power. Once you're done either popping your popcorn or your microwave or, your dry, or blow drying your hair, it'll reverse itself. Front AC, back AC, refrigerator, water heater, and you're back as if nothing ever happened. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Nortrail. They'd be more than happy to show you this motorhome. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.